Myron's been worshiping white people from putting on the hood to working with dudes who basically want him erased. This is uh, one of those Twitter spaces he was in. Yeah. Okay, first of all, yo, that is a good shirt, Ava. That is a, Preach looks good at like he always does, but that is a good shirt. I don't even know what's happening, but it's, it's kind of lesbian chic and I'm here for it, bro. It's kind of like... You know, I call her daddy, but she's a girl. Like, I like it. So look at the, what it's called. Lit comfy hours. Whites only. But now we get audio from some of the things that these people think about him. And all the same. This is crazy. So if you guys are, if you guys didn't see that, this is a whites only group. That's what it's called. This is a, a call, like a group call with a bunch of people. Okay. But now we get audio from some of the things that these people think about him. And all the censored words, it's their favorites. Okay, so the, I'm assuming he means the N-word, right? Because, like, that's what I'm assuming. So it's called whites only. Okay. This is like, if any, if I kind of break the rules, just hit me up about it, guys, you know. And, cause, and I agree with him. Like, we gain nothing. Like, it's one of the in they talk nice they're like oh look white people deserve their space and can't we just be friends and blah blah yeah yeah. abba put a note saying and bombs you can't see it on your screen because i'm blocking it but basically he doesn't beep the audio but every time the audio skips they're saying the n-word blah but then later that night they're just your behavior you know i think it was you comfy that was speaking about that guy where he's a half an hour later he's posting shit like yeah as many bitches as you can and just yeah. oh, Behavior. Yeah. Oh, my red, my red gains. Yeah. Myron gains. The what? I don't, I don't, I don't. Go, go back to the spot. I think that shit was out of focus. No, 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 he he be he be tugging it to white men. Right? How is saying it is crazy. Right. What he's saying? Like, if that's, you that's, think about it, if you are an actual conservative, the things that the red pill people espouse is completely not in line with how you want the, your society to be. Uh, the first thing he said was, "Don't marry a girl until you're 35." What a hard thing? To yeah, say. what a yeah. stupidest thing ever, mate. This is why we're talking. This is what. This is what we were saying yesterday. Like, yeah. at the end of the day, they're fucking low IQ. They're low in yeah. control. Even at the end of the day, they're low IQ. Even if, you know, yeah. they say a few things that are based or whatever by our standards. Don't fucking fall for it. Don't think that they're on our side. Oh, based. You know, I don't just, know if he's talking about Myron or if he's talking about the fact that he's black. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? It's, it's got to be that he's black, right? He's not saying low IQ because of his ideas. He's saying low IQ because he's black, right? Yeah. I think it's the only reason why some people listen to him. It's because he's a little bit known, but he's still a Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Come, he's a little bit known, but he's still an N-word. Come the end of the day, come the end of the day, especially in somewhere like the States where they're just and everywhere. Um, what, you think these people are going to align? You think they're going to help you? They'll turn on you as fucking quick as anything. As fast as a fucking... Yeah. You could tell these guys relish in calling black folks the Damn. Like they like it, and, and they love it, bro. They're kind of wet when they say it. It's so gross. See, all of those people, like that. Okay, philosophy conversation. You are more than your skin color, but that doesn't mean that people in the world don't perceive you as just your skin color. These people only perceive people on their skin color. On their skin color. Like you are so much more than your gender and your skin color and everything else. So that's like the height of philosophy, like the height of introspection, extrospection is to relish in the fact that like you are so much more than this physical form and they are the lowest form of recognizing people are different from them because they think like because of your skin color, you are less than. Racism has got to be one of the lowest levels of introspection you can almost have if you're not even a one. Like, just think about how lacking of extrospection, introspection you'd have to be to even be racist in like a very specific skin color way, right? We know why tribalism exists and people are biased and prejudiced and there's racism everywhere, but just that particular brand of racism, judging someone purely for the skin they were born with, it's like the lowest level of intelligence is that level of racist, 
Do you guys get what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of insane because all individuals can be racist, right? There's so many people I hear like, oh, that group and that group and that group. But this particular group of people, so I don't know nobody like this. And I am very grateful that I don't know a single person like this group of people. And I don't want to know a person like this. And I don't want you in my circles at all. You know how I say I don't mind if my friends are bad people? There is even a line for me. If my friends end up being the version of low comment, like lowest level of racist, meaning like people's skin color, that's, that's too, that's, no. It's not just the end. Case. You can tell their views behind it and you can hear them, low IQ, yeah. monkeys, yeah. all this other stuff. Like they really see them as inferior. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. it's so funny because you see cats like Myron constantly cape for white people. He'll talk badly about black women, black men are undateable. I wonder if Myron secretly wishes he was white because he sees the way that white people get to dominate the world or how average white guys can do half of the work that he does and get 100% more of the praise. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if Myron sees that people are racist towards him and then wishes he was white, which is why he sucks the dick of these white people because the way I could never. And I do wonder if that's an internalized like racism thing. That's like a self-hating thing, right? not worth dating black women are the lowest on the totem pole you see most of his childhood friends everyone he's ever grown up with is just white he loves caper for white folks but you recognize that the very power structure he's trying to appeal to that motherfuckers hate him yeah they look at him like yo bro no matter how much of an uncle ruckus you are you still dirt beneath my feet and, and, and look you'll hear myron he'll get online he'll talk about rappers i know i hate them entertainers stupid black women doesn't matter what they do in but will he speak out against these people? No, he's no. not. He's not. He He'll can't. keep quiet for his white daddies. He'll put mm. on the hood like he's told to. For his white daddies. Bro, keep it a stack. Myron wishes he was white. Three oh four. I'm still alive. Okay, yeah, so I don't want to. Guys, yeah, I don't want, I don't want to. Lie. Some guys are different about it. Like uh, some dudes are like, yeah, it's gonna be funny. Esco Brothers is for a funny yeah, story yeah, and yeah. shit. Um, but I, you know, and then some guys are like, hell fucking no. I've noticed with black dudes, they don't like doing that shit. White guys, we're all like, yeah, well, uh, I said we. we yeah, but not, yeah. Yeah, he's not white. He's white, Justin. See, he's white. Hey. Hey. Is it because Arabs are white and Myron thinks he's Arab? I mean, he is Arab, but like he's also, isn't he Sudanese? That's kind of black, bro. That's black Arab, right? See how I'm Arab? And Myron's Arab, but we differ kind of Arab. You know what I'm saying? Like, but people always say Arabs are white. Is Myron white, guys? He isn't he Sudanese? Like, am I crazy? Maybe I'm wrong about that. You know what they call that? A Freudian slip. So when you make what is appears to be a mistake on the outside, it's actually just a reflection of what and you And look, by the way, as much as this is kind of funny. Remember that this is also the devastating reality that people are going through when they depend on their identity to be about the bubbles. Myron is more than the bubble he perceives, and he's more than the bubbles that perceive him. Myron is more than his skin color, and he's more than his desire to like want to be white, and he's more than his internalized racism. Myron is so much more, but he can't activate that if he's still living to the pressure of the bubbles. Myron feels like somebody who's constantly pressured by the bubbles and he doesn't know how not to be dependent on appealing to those bubbles. Yeah, exactly. Bryson, it's funny and it's sad. It's funny and it's sad. But this is humans. This is the struggle we have. And I think Myron is deeply suffering. Does that mean I'm going to do any emotional labor for him? Absolutely. Absolutely not, but it doesn't mean that it's not sad. Discord said Myron is definitely a deeply hurt individual. The way he speaks about women reveals this, and I definitely think Myron thinks because he's Arab, he's in black, and the way that black Americans are, um, he's brown. That's what I'm saying. It's so funny how we say who's white and who's not white and what's white and what's not white. Even chat's saying even fresh is in black. He's brown. Can we at least say they're brown and I'm white? Like, I might be white-skinned, but they're brown-skinned, and they're gonna be treated like brown-skinned people be treated. And I might be, like Hassan says, we're like white-passing, Arabs. But also, this is the weirdness about the construct around race in general. This is the weirdness about the construct about all these things and what they mean. Because if you're playing a specific game, they either help or hinder you. Like in feminist bubbles, it kind of helps me that I'm a Syrian. In white bubbles, it kind of either plays good if I'm the token or plays badly if I'm not from 
European descent. This is the conversation Arabs and blacks have all the time from Africa. Like if you're from Africa, are you black? Are you Arab? And then everyone has a question about it. This is the confusing part about identity. You exist outside of these constructs. You exist outside of these perceptions. You exist outside of your ethnicity. And yet you still have to exist in a world that perceives you by your skin color and who your family is and where you come from. You really think, God damn. <laughs> he said we. We. That's crazy. That's crazy. I have never spoken about another race of people and said we. I ain't never been like, man, the way Asians move like. Yo, yeah, yeah, me neither. I have absolutely never said that ever, ever. <laughs> Remember? The, yeah, I said, okay, I did. I said it once. I'm black based off my 40 and slips. Maybe I do think I'm black, obviously. <laughs> Shout out to Paz Brittany. We move different. That's a weird thing to say. Have you ever done that? What have you Abba, ever- Abba, stop judging us. Uh, maybe Myron's neurodivergion, he just slipped out. Sometimes we misspeak. And sometimes it's a 40 and slip, you know? Spoken about women and said we, like. <laughs> yeah. Pfft. As a man, I get it. I've never said that. That's crazy. Hey, hey bro. Hey, hey man. That was natural. That was natural. <laughs> I officially just stamped Myron as white. Yeah. <laughs> what I meant to say, what I meant to say was when I was in college, <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. And if you're wondering why he's talking about his college days and all that whiteness stuff. That's what he was hugging him. That's him in college. Read the caption out loud. The boys plus our token. The boys plus our token. I mean, look, Myron is this category of black brown guy. He's not exactly a Carlton because Carlton knows how to dance. But and Carlton got that booty, you know, but like he is the black guy that doesn't have Riz. That must be very difficult. I couldn't think of a more difficult position to be in than a black guy with no Riz. That's and hard that is a very hard life to live and he's a black man with no riz he just got zero riz bro abba and preach just say something and i'm like i'm married ma'am back off they got riz you know myron doesn't have it bro myron just doesn't have the riz look at him just look at this picture look at this look at abba and preach in comparison to myron and tell me who is more and be honest it is not myron like these but preach and abba and preach like they like kind of drip sex, but myron just makes me like <sighs> female general mutilization like <sighs> no thank you i'm sorry it is what it is the boys plus our token god god <laughs> oh my God. like bro I, i'm like i'm ready to end them like they want to go here and say you're myron cool Cool. An Arab guy that literally, like, I hit so many different check marks for the fucking Arab guy. Did this man just call himself Arab? He is Arab, right? Like, he is. And I also think I'll do a lengthier project on this, but the red pill in general is very, very keen on constantly catering to whiteness in general and degrading black. Man, even the lesbians in my chat thirsting after Abba and Preach. I mean, look at Abba with his shirt open. He's just like, hello, ladies. Like the way Preach just screams daddy. See, Abba doesn't scream daddy, but Preach does. So that's his riz, obviously. He drips daddy. But like Abba, Abba drips. I know how to dance. So my hips know how to move. You f And they are dancers, technically. Look at Abba with his little shirt, with his little chest showing. Myron could never pull it off, bro. Blackness. And you notice there's a trend that goes through all the red pill. Most of the creators I've seen spend a tremendous amount of time speaking poorly about black people and mm -hmm. raising white people. What's crazy is that they'll bring people like Nick Fuentes. Ugh. They don't care if it's Ugh. Richard Spencer. Dudes Ugh. who literally proclaim. And we need to have a majority of white people and white people need to be running America. Only white people should be running the country. On average, blacks have the lowest IQ. Yeah, I, right I feel there. like I remember there being a leaked phone call and some other stuff that came out too that got you kicked out of school too, no? Was that... Yeah, yeah, that is something. Something that about like that. if a white girl dates a black person, it's the same as like a dog, something like that, maybe? I Am I <laughs> you know, enough with the Jim Crow stuff. Who cares? Oh, and to drink out of a different water fountain. Big deal. 
Oh no, they had to go to a different school. Uh, you know, even if it was bad, who cares? That they don't want minorities of black folks in their country. They don't want interracial. They don't want you to hold office or power. They, they bring these people on and then they suck them off. They suck out that white semen like it might bleach their skin. It's crazy. But also look at Preach's face. Look at Preach's face. Break them off. They suck out that white cement like it might bleach their skin. It's crazy. <laughs> that to me is the part that I'm like, I can't run. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's so true, though. Oh, it's so true. With you. you are so brainwashed and so fucking stupid that you're literally going to come here and champion a man who wants you dead. You're going to look mm -hmm. him in the eyes and smile while the dude is literally holding the blade he wants to press to your neck. Mm. And then you want to tell me you're not mentally ill. And he's, and he's not like it's... Uh... But it is, okay. It is not mental illness like schizophrenia, but it is mental health like internalized racism. Internalized racism is a form of mental health. Self-hatred is a mental health issue. You need to go to a therapist who will help you deconstruct your childhood and how things impact us, racism and how it impacts us. It's not schizophrenia, but it is mental health. And then after the deconstruction, you can talk about philosophy, the meaning of life. What does it mean to exist outside of my ethnicity or my race? What does it mean to exist outside of my culture? What does it mean to be me in the universe? Right? But first, we have to ask ourselves, why are we self-hating? Why did we pre-abandon? Like, Myron abandoned himself. Because Myron never fit in. Myron is the guy who couldn't fit in with his own people in a way. He doesn't come off like other Arab guys I know. Arab guys got riz. Arab men have riz. Myron neither has riz as an Arab or as a black man. I am telling you, that is very difficult. I know it sounds funny, like I'm making a joke. But that is a very hard existence. It is very hard to have no riz as an Arab and as a brown man. That's just, it's too much. It's just, no wonder. And that's why these people go to these kinds of groups. Even if you look at a Sneeko, who does have riz for the most part, like even Sneeko because he's rejected by his main groups, look for a group that fits him, but he's groupless. Like, Sneeko is obviously so lost. But Myron, he chose. He doubled down, and he's picked his bubble. See, Sneeko, I'm hoping Sneeko leaves this bubble. I think he will in 10 years. But Myron, this is the bubble he's picked. Sheep, he's not hiding it. He's letting no, you know what he wants to up. do. Up. He's telling you you don't belong. He... I had to watch Sneeko over here defend Nick Fuentes when he said he's against interracial mm -hmm. marriage, which is the very thing that birthed Sneeko in the first place. Sneeko wouldn't even exist if Nick Fuentes was in power. Let, let's, let's be honest, Mr. Fuentes. You came on here and you said yourself that you are not for interracial marriage and that prescriptively you feel like it shouldn't be a thing within the society because you think it's bad for it. Like, Nick really, if the, I listened to this whole call, I don't think he said anything that makes you want to cancel him. I think he's a good guy. He's saying, hey, I love everybody. Is he really being that? Yo, that's crazy. That Bro, Sneeko, that. That but Sneeko's whole brand is playing ignorant to the obvious. I think Sneeko, I don't believe Sneeko here. I think he's acting, right? Because Sneeko does know better because he understands it. But he is, he's playing a game of chess, but I think he doesn't understand that he's lost. He might, like, not lost, like, oh, I'm lost in the desert. But, like, he, I think he lost his game because people use Sneeko, right? Like, people in this bubble use Sneeko. Sneeko's trying to use them, but he doesn't know how. I don't think he knows how to use people the way he thinks. He does use people in his personal life, but that's different. I don't know about any of these men in this panel, but I know at least two of them definitely use women for their own bullshit. Sneeko being one of them, okay? But there is a specific difference between a Sneeko and a Myron. Sneeko doesn't have self-hatred. Sneeko has a distrust of everybody around him. So he's never, he's not even fully in this bubble. Myron, like I said, he's committed.
That's that's sneaker. So, so, sneaker. I'm not even gonna lie. If he had his way and he had, first off, you wouldn't even exist because you're the basis of an interracial marriage. So, but you don't find it kind of crazy that the ideal world that he envisions is one in which you wouldn't exist in. See, Sneeko hasn't thought about these things. He's not thinking about them. He's like, he's thinking about a game he's playing. He's not thinking about actually answering Abba's question. He's thinking about a game he's playing, which is different. But I will say, I don't know how much Myron believes what he says. I wonder who the real Myron is. I wonder who 10-year-old Myron is, who 15-year-old Myron was. I wonder who Myron was as a kid. I'd love to know who, how he was as a baby. These people are lost. Mm -hmm. They are not mentally well. While they're speaking on transgenderism. That's true. That's true. The people changing, they literally want to champion people that would erase them. Forget erasing your gender. These people champion people that would erase their whole existence. Mm. Think about that. Think about this. Coconuts and Barbados. That being said, what did I say that's a lie? Like, bro, I, I'm, like, I'm ready to end them. Like, they want to go here and say, you're... Look at this. Look at this panel. So we got Fuentes. Fuentes. We got Pearl, who has issues with her mother. Zerka. Zerka. Sneeko. And Myron. These are all people who never fit into their bubbles. I guarantee you. These are all people that never took pride in their ethnicity in a way that was healthy that never understood their communities. His name is Fuentes for f sake, okay? Like these are people who never found a home in the bubbles they were born into and they all settled on bubbles where they could be pick -me's. All of these people are pick -me's. all of them. They're all dying for a group to pick them because their initial group didn't. Myron, cool, cool. The an Arab guy that literally, like, I hit so many different check marks. No, no, so we take turns. No, 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 What the I heard that some of y'all were raising the salute, so I decided to come back. Let's go. Poor sneak go. For all rolls out. Oh, come on. No! We're down. Let's go. No. Let's go. We're down for what happened. Let's. Do it! <laughs> do, you, do you realize how dumb everyone has to be? That when you're in a room full of people, that somehow just Pearly thing seems to be the smartest person. You see her sliding off screen like, what the fuck am I associating myself with? I don't think there's anything wrong with a black person saying they're concerned. I think there's plenty of people who do it ethically while still denouncing race. These people are not it. Something's wrong. And I'll get to the, uh, like I said, I'll do They have self-hatred. He's right, something is wrong. He's right, it's mental health. ABBA is 1,000% correct. Internalized racism, internalized misogyny, which Pearl has, okay? So Fuentes has internalized racism and prejudice, right? Uh, Myron, Zerka, and all those people, they all have issues with themselves. They don't love themselves. None of these people love themselves. And I'm telling you right now, this is the foundation for mental health deterioration. Loving yourself, the humanity behind the self is key. None of these people love themselves. It is mental health. ABBA is 100% correct. Good lengthy project on the whole race portion of the red pill that I think is insane. But um, maybe you guys disagree. Maybe you guys feel mm -hmm. differently. I would love to hear from you guys. But I think it's very hard for you to sit here and try to tell me that the red pill is not intertwined with worshiping whiteness. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. almost every creator that you can imagine from mm -hmm. the red pill community, I can point to you videos of them worshiping whiteness endlessly. Now that we brought it all together, I thought this would be a good opportunity to bridge this from this conversation to what? a topic of self-loathing and how I feel like Oof. Myron... Whatever he is, he's, I think he's just an archetype, you know, representative of one, of a lot of people who have a lot of internalized hatred towards their own group. Oh, yes, Abba. Yes, Abba's so good. Abba's so good. This is so on point. And don't recognize that the reason why they constantly speak ill of their own group and then appeal to whiteness or to black. Like, you might even hear white folks who do this cringe shit. And, it, it, like, you watch it right now who don't yeah. see anything wrong with this, you would 1,000% think it's cringe if a white person came out and constantly was whining, like, oh, my God, white people are so evil. White people are just the worst. Like, mm -hmm. we've laughed at people like that. Because it's just like, bro, you're trying too hard. When they just suck off minorities and constantly talk shit about whiteness, mm -hmm. this is the exact same thing, but from the other end of the... That's why I'm always hesitant about white women feminism. Because like Tana and Brooke and all the way they talk, they talk like that and it annoys me. 
oh, I would never know as a black, like a white person, what a black person's going through. And I have white guilt and blah, 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 blah. It's like, please, you're making it about you. You're missing the point. You're still making it about yourself. And so like, yes, like this is why I hesitate around white woman feminism. Like I raise an eyebrow because they always end up making it about themselves somehow, which I understand to some extent, but also like my bro. Yes, I agree with Abba on this. Spectrum. Exact same thing. Maybe the roots of it are a little bit different, but it's the same kind of behavior. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. And I've known enough people like this mm -hmm. where no matter how the conversations progress, eventually comments will come out that are just negative about their own culture, negative about their own people. And it's never balanced out with very positive reinforcements, never po balanced out with, oh, these are some things, these people. No, it's always negative. Yeah. And then it's always praising another group. Why can't you be like them? Why can't you be mm -hmm. like them? So I don't know whenever I've grown up with these types, they've always made me uncomfortable mainly because it's just like if you don't like yourself and what you're about that's going to show up in other areas of your yep. life yep. i think it's very difficult to be a happy person and to hate your race to hate your own skin color mm, 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 mm. he's so on point with this this is why i say check your bias and prejudice because we all suffer from it and check those internalized isms we really do suffer from things chat says i think the only people that treated myron good and made him feel included was white people so he resents black people possibly, right? That often does happen when you're sort of different from the flock. They ostracize you and say, hey, you're more like this group. So then you go to that group and you feel welcomed by them. But I think that's why it's important for people to remember no one's a monolith. But also the way that Myron is, maybe even naturally, who knows what part of him is his default setting and what part of him is sort of like heavily acting, though, I, you know, you're always within your nature, is I don't know if he actually fits in these groups better, but he does give me like, I don't know that his white friends value him, even the ones from college. Because sometimes like white friends who look the way they look, the ones that Myron were friends with, they usually like to have a brown person around to sort of like, we're not racist, which is kind of a big deal, right? So there's something there that's interesting. I think more or less, I don't know Myron's real history. So I don't know if white people literally treated him better. But I will say that when you're born into a family you don't fit into, right? You look for a family you feel good enough with, even if it's not perfect. And that's what's so sad when we let our children feel so badly about themselves that they look for somebody else to love them when we could have made space for them to feel happy in the family they were born into. I'm very interested in who Myron's parents must have been, who his siblings maybe were, if he has siblings, what his life growing up must have been like, you know? Whether it's internalized, you don't realize it, or it's external. How? So just being around people like that has always made me uneasy. But what That's super weird. Yeah. That's super weird. But yeah, it happens. There's a lot of people that it happens like that. People are willing to date. <clears throat> they date people that they hate. I've seen that a lot. Mm -hmm. They pay people that they hate or they hate themselves. It happens. True. True. You ever see a person who dates someone so they can hate on them because they hate the way that their partner is and they want them to be different? And like, have you ever seen like a, um, I see this and I see this in two groups. I've seen it with like interracial couples, black and white. And I've seen it with gay couples who want to appear normal. Oh my God, I saw this gay TikTok the other day and they were like, I'm a lesbian. It was like a Trump voting lesbian. I was shook to my core. And she was like, I fought all of my life to be considered normal, not to bother people and stand out. I just want to live my life. And she's like, and these modern day gays won't let me live my life. And I was just like, oh, girl, just, <laughs> okay. Go back to Home Depot and hang out with the white races with Confederate flags. I get it. But like, ma'am, it's like they're trying so hard. They just want to be accepted by the straights. They just want to. And then I've seen it with interracial couples where the person of color has felt like they can never own up to like being white enough or good enough for the family they married into, which is why you have to make sure whose family are you marrying into? And is that going to become between like if they're going to interrupt your marriage? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like. 
be careful who you date. That's why when my partner and I were courting, we wanted to meet each other's families because we wanted to understand like who are we marrying into and then how much of a relationship are we going to have with them? You know, I knew there was something off. What gave it away? Was it the wearing the clan hat? Yeah, that. that. I mean, that was crazy. That was, was crazy. You know the one that made me think this dude was definitely not Mon black? Monkey noises is crazy. No, the one that killed me was watching him dance. Girl. My man was doing the hokey pokey to a hip-hop track. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Booty queef. Booty queef. Booty queef. Just boys being boys. Booty queef. Booty queef. Boys. Booty queef. Just boys being boys. Booty but clowns you for dancing. Cool. Wow. Hey, listen, he can clown me for dancing for as many as... Listen, dance, dance, if awesome. Myron says you gay, that's how you know you straight. <laughs> Whatever Myron says, the opposite is probably true. That's why it never bothered me when he said I was gay, because I'm like, I know what y'all be doing behind closed doors. I know who you be laying up in bed with, and I know what color piss you like to suck on. And it's okay. Hmm? It's okay. What did I say? It's okay. Okay. It's, it's okay that they like that. I agree. My whole thing is... I don't like it when I go into a home and all the doors are closed. Open the closet. Come on out. Open the closet. Come on out. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I love that. <clears throat> yeah, but, uh, carry on. There ain't no problem with that. It's fine. It's, it's cool that you, 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 you like what you like. It's, mm -hmm. it's totally cool. Yeah, what does he like? Describe it to me. No. Come on. Tell me what it No. What would what it, it look like? No. Where'd it go? I don't. I, I wouldn't know. What'd that mouth do? Hmm? Fire upon this. <laughs> but if if that's what Abba's you like, gay, though, bro. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. But Abba's gay, bro. It's a bit wild when you point out the fingers to other people. If 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 that's what you like, it's cool. Then it's cool. I I, I don't think these dudes are actually you know in closeted. Uh, you know I think it's a funny joke considering how sus they are all the time. But <clears throat> I one thousand percent one. That being said, I one thousand percent think that Myron sometimes doesn't like black people. I can't. If I do that accent for too long, I literally start becoming True. slower. <laughs> uh, what do you think when you've met people like this? Met people like what? That, that, uh, that you know, the self-hatred stuff. Oh, I stay away from them. Sure, sure, it's, sure. But what have you observed about them? What, do you, what, would you, what would you tell the audience? They're not happy. Are they in denial? Well, do, yes, do, and they're not. Yeah, well, of course, because they don't want to look like. They know that the the word self hatred is not good, right? So they're not gonna admit that they are. So just like white people, when you tell them, you know, that's they know it's bad to be. Racist, so they don't want to be that. They don't want to admit that. Or even black people, they don't want to admit that it's. Racist, but no, we we can't be. Racist, we can't. So they just deny it. Yeah, they're like we should get rid of white people. That's not. Racist. I can't be. No, I can't be. Racist. It's okay. not racist. Okay, like, well, yo, okay, cool. That's crazy. What you just said is crazy. True. Chat says Myron has talked so many times about not even enjoying sex with women. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a health, a self-hating gay. True. He often talks about like how he doesn't even like having sex with women. It's confusing. Getting rid, getting rid of people is cra saying that is crazy. Whatever. In a vacuum or not, it's just crazy. Anyways, yeah, there's denial. Definitely denial there. Everybody thinks what they're doing is righteous. Everybody is the hero in their story. Sure. So whenever they go mm. back, like, pff, they got reasons. And because they got reasons, they have the right to do that. Yeah. Yeah, emotions are valid. Yeah, sometimes your emotions is garbage. <laughs> That's pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to kind of bring this up to you. What do you guys think about this archetype? Are you guys surprised to hear the stuff you heard? Do you guys agree or disagree with our assessment? I'm gonna be honest with you. If I'm ever supporting the cause and the motherfuckers from that cause are talking about me that way, I'm not supporting the cause. I'm gonna be doing some soul search. Yeah. Yo, what am I supporting that these people want to get rid of me? I, to me, I can't get over that fact. Yo, that's crazy. You are literally sucking off the dudes who, who want to get off this Yeah. Plan. Crazy. Okay, so obviously, I thought this video was fascinating. Talk about bubbles. Right? Like, talk about having a relationship with words and what they mean, and also how you feel about yourself. Like, Myron, I think, is a perfect example of a two who's like suffering within the bubbles. He can either create a bubble that works for him, nor can he pick a bubble that works for him. And I mean, for his joy. He obviously picked a bubble and made a bubble that works for his wallet, but for his joy, his literal joy, he's obviously struggling, right? This is a perfect example of what happens 
when you're joyless in the bubbles. I wish Myron could find a home because I think he'd be much better. I think his work would be better. I think his relationships would be better. I think his money would be less probably, or maybe not, but he would be better. And I think Abba just so perfectly said, when I don't even know if Abba's aware of how right he is, like that's the irony. Does Abba even realize how right he is? Because it's not like Abba has a mental health channel, but like it is mental health. Self-loathing is a mental health conundrum that's brought on by your place in the tribe, right? That's why you need a therapist to help you deconstruct tribal beliefs about yourself. And then once you do that, you can start having conversations about what it means to to face yourself in terms of the universe. Where do I belong in the universe? God forbid Myron ask himself, what does it mean that you exist? Since they all pretend to believe in God and all that. You know what I mean? But I just thought this was such a perfect example of that. And then how sad it can be. And how we do want to make fun of Myron because it's so easy to make fun of him. But also he like, he invites bullying because he's such a bully. See how we want to bully a bully, but at the depth of every bully is just a sad child who was probably rejected at some point because healthy people just don't make this their living. Healthy, well-adjusted people. If you go back and watch old Abba and Preach compared to now, you see a distinct and wonderful growth. If you go back and watch Fresh and Fit till now, they don't grow. I mean, they grow in subscribers, but they're not growing with themselves. Remember the first episode Abba was on Fresh and Fit? It took Abba how many times to realize like, oh, I don't want to talk to this Myron guy in this way. Remember how fast that bridge burnt? Because they realize their morals and ethics are completely different. And that's interesting to me. Very different kinds of people existing in the world very differently, huh? Da, 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 da.